Trump warns of bloodbath in US if he loses. Former US President Donald Trump has warned of a bloodbath for the American automobile industry and the country as a whole if he doesn't win a second term in the US election on November the 5th. Trump made the remark during a rally in Vandalia, Ohio, while speaking about his plans to protect US car makers from Chinese competition. The former president addressed China's leader Xi Jinping from the stage, saying that you and I are friends, but those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, you're going to not hire Americans and you're going to sell the cars to us. No. We're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line and you're not going to be able to sell those cars if I get elected, the presumptive Republican nominee in the election added. Trump urged Americans to vote for him in the fall, saying, Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. Later in his address, he also cautioned the crowd that if this election isn't won, I'm not sure that you'll ever have another election in this country. Trump's speech that evening was mostly improvised as he complained about not being able to use the teleprompter due to strong winds. I can't read this damn teleprompter. This sucker is moving. Like reading a moving flag in a 35 mile per hour wind. The 77 year old said, the team of US President Joe Biden interpreted Trump's mentioning of a bloodbath as a threat of political violence from their rival. He wants another January 6th, but the American people are going to give him another electoral defeat this November because they continue to reject his extremism, his affection for violence, and his thirst for revenge, Biden's campaign spokesman James Singer said in a statement. Trump campaign spokeswoman Caroline Levitt responded to the accusations telling CNN that crooked Joe Biden and his campaign are engaging in deceptively out-of-context editing. On March 12, Legion of Free Russia, which entered the territory of Russia's Korsk and Belgorod regions together with the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion, announced the losses suffered by the Russian army during this period. As a result of the battles, 613 servicemen of the invading Russian army were killed, 828 were wounded, and 27 servicemen were captured, destroyed 7 tanks of the Russian army, 20 infantry fighting vehicles, 4 armored personnel carriers, 6 howitzers, 4 mortars, 4 self-propelled artillery units, 2 drones, 1 grad installation, 1 grenade launcher, 1 Morum observation complex, 1 radio-electronic warfare vehicle, 2 armored vehicles was done. Also, two tanks, one armored infantry fighting vehicle, one grad unit, one armored personnel carrier, two self-propelled artillery units, one flamethrower system, one radio-electronic warfare vehicle, one armored car, and more than 20 other vehicles were damaged and disabled. It should be noted that the members of the Legion announced that they have complete control over one settlement in each of Belgorod and Korsk provinces, 